So we just finished uh, putting in the windows and spray foam insulation. As you can see, it's not trimmed off yet, but it will be shortly. We'll put some trimming around there. And we just got it on blocks for now. Eventually, it's going to be on a, on a shale or gravel type of platform about two feet off the ground. So it's going to be nice and sturdy. And we're going to be building a greenhouse solarium coming off of this in the front about 10 feet out and the whole length, the 40 foot length of the shipping container. So it's going to be quite a nice uh, solarium slash greenhouse. Would you Come like to in. give us a tour? We're okay. going to give you a tour. Yay. We like tours. Watch your step. So excuse the mess in here. It's under construction. Under construction. That's what you have, eh? So this is a 40 foot high cube. And down there will be the bedrooms. Bedroom number one. Bedroom, bedroom. number two. Can you, yeah, and the two by fours you see on the, right by her shoulder there is actually going to be the height. Right there. That's going to be the height of each of the bedrooms. So it's enough for you to sit comfortably on your bed, have plenty of headroom, and then be able to access, say, your laptop on the side or something like that. Um, bedrooms, why aren't you a pretty wifey? Yay. So that's one end. And the opposite end, just yesterday we've been hard at work, we actually installed our wood stove. And, uh, we want to do a rocket mass heater, but because winter's coming so quickly, we'll eventually move this into the shop. And as you can see here, we're extending the floor at 18 inches high, all the way down the uh, shipping container, right up to uh, the bedrooms. And that's to allow ducting and plumbing underneath and electrical. And you'll probably notice the tape job underneath. That's the proposed rocket mass heater there. So we're probably gonna tear up this floor and build a rocket mass heater next year. But to give you an idea of what it is right now, it looks crooked on this video, but I assure you it is definitely straight. So we just installed that yesterday and it kept us nice and cozy overnight and used very little wood. Uh, to give you an idea on how little wood, um, for about nine hours of heat, we just had this little bucket full of wood. So the shipping container does not take very long to heat up. So here's your tour. Shipping container, it's actually bigger than what people think. And if you think about uh, how much time you spend in your house and where you spend your time in your house, you know, most people spend their time in the bedrooms, in the living room, in the bathroom, and the kitchen. And the kitchen. So, kitchen is already part of the living room down here. And um, the bedroom is a place to sleep. And the living room is nice and cozy. So the reason we chose a small home like this is the reason we chose such a small home, which is not really that small, is we started to really for for six months we carefully let me take the camera. Yay. Hello. We uh, carefully analyzed how much space we actually utilized in our home. So we count how long we were in front of the TV or on the couch or whatever, like play music or education, whatever the case may be, how people spend their time on the couch, right? We calculate how much that time that was, how much time we spent in the bedrooms and bathrooms. And we said, we really don't need a lot of room. Most people have big homes and stuff like that because they need to hold on to all their stuff. So if you don't have a lot of stuff and most of your stuff is things that you use on a regular basis, then you can live a lot less space. Economically, like this is, you can't beat this, really. Um, as long as you're ready to put some work into it, or if you can afford contractors. Um, right here, there's no heat going on right now, and it's quite cozy and somewhat cool outside. So we got south-facing windows. It was really nice as last night. Uh, beautiful wifey there. Wanted some, uh, <laughs> she wanted the northern lights, which north is that way. And we were seeing northern lights and she was hoping to have the northern lights in front and last night we had that they were right over our house and beautiful northern lights and crystal clear sky and uh here's one that's really cool about this house is our floor is going to be at this height here all the way down to where the bedrooms are now this is you know heat on your butt and you get a perfect view of the sky looking south whenever you feel like it 
And these windows open quite a bit, so you get fresh air coming in. So yeah, it's, it's a really nice setup. Well, we can't wait to show you the finished product, but it's a work in progress, and uh, we're going to be at this for quite a few months now. We're going to be in here by the end of September. Like It's going to be like a cabin, and we're going to slowly build it up uh, as we go along. Anyways, thank you for watching, and please comment on this YouTube video.